What's up, fire squad? Oh, you go right into it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no thumb. You do the, when, when do you do the thumbnail? All right, alien fam of eight. I'm in the building. Yes, this is none other than Rody Foodie, the man. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. When it when it comes to food, yeah. When it, when it comes to facts, yeah. I mean, his his palate is on point. Uh, it, uh, yeah, I do like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> As um, we went to this place, El Norteño. El Norteño. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of these spots that, and I was telling you when I drove up, guys, it's this little hut looking place, right? We're looking at it right now. Uh, K Money and the kids are eating inside. And you could just tell that it's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Man. You you can smell it a block away. Um, the It's a cash only. Yes, food, that's important. Food tip. Pro tip, cash only spots, that's where you'll find me. That's, <laughs> really? that's, that's when you'll know that the that the place is absolutely legit. But I, we got some tacos. You got something that... Uh, Dude, I have that, a behemoth. Look at this thing. Hold on. And let me let tell me, you. Let me get out of the camera here. Let me tell you. I, I am a little nervous. You want to know why? Because me and him were just talking about how... We had someone try something we suggested and it wasn't yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So that's why true. I'm like, my nerves are like, yeah, please be good. <laughs> But when you order something, hold on, it's it's like a, it's one of those presents where you're, it's not there yet. <laughs> hold on, hold on, baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, guys, look at that. Come on. Look at this. Come on. Yeah, the light's a little on us, but that's okay. Come on. That's just Jesus blessing us with yes. that light, that foodie light. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Mm. Do you see the crispness on a tortilla? Dude, they they everything is on this thing. I'm seeing cheese, pico. Guac, oh sour cream, gosh. aka crema. Yes. Um, I don't know what's on the inside though, unless this is just a shell. Look, I think there's, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's a little bit of heaven in there, I think. And then I got some tacos <laughs> over here, guys. Yeah. That's a little bright. Hold on. Yeah. Pretty love. There, there we, we go. go. Look at that. Look pretty. At that. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's so pretty. They do a really good job here. Mm. What do you want to do? Well, I, I want to, I want to just. You want to do this? I'll yeah. go, I'll go Let's in with do you. it. Let's do it. All right, guys, this is their Mexican pizza, and... Wow, look at these cuts. Oh, my. Uh, there's no way that's one How did you... That's no, no way. No, that's, no, rule number one when one it comes slice. to pizza. That's one slice. It's like no. When, no, when you eat nachos mm -hmm. and something like that happens, that's one nacho. I'm just letting it drop. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I got, oh my gosh, yeah. oh, look dude. Look at that flop. Look at that oh, flop. Oh, my goodness. Major flop. Oh, my oh. God. It's so... <laughs> this All right, is we'll awesome. just go in. Cheers, brother. Boom. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. We out here. Phoenix, Arizona. Down the hatch. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, oh, you gotta get the oh the pizza mm. bins. Very weird that they oh that they don't put the beans in the middle. Right? Yeah, so that's different, right? You hear the crunch, man? Mm. I know y'all hear that crunch. That's some, that's a good go right there. I need. Mean, Mm. All right, now. <laughs> How do you eat this though? I don't. I don't want to be one of those fancy people, but you might need like a fork and and a, like a spoon to oh. eat this over here. Dude, I see potatoes too. I didn't get a potato. Good. It's a russet potato on here. Yeah. Are you serious, right there? Oh, that's right. You do. You do see a potato over there. Nice. All right. That, that, that salsa is. Yeah, the salsita. They said, I said, do you have green, red? Can I have red and green chili, right? Yeah. Um, salsa. And they looked at me like. You, not only that, you came back, like, you came back like a five-year-old kid. <laughs> with like this, you went, this is all they had. <laughs> I was like, that's okay, really that's did. okay. We're, we're okay. <laughs> we're going to survive. But that, that salsa looks really good. I'm going to tromp down on one of these. <laughs> what was that? What was the name of that one taco that I didn't, I couldn't, my, my, my cha-cha? Oh, machacha. Macha. I hope. <laughs> Super much. I, I just lost my Mexican card right there. <laughs> right. I've never had this before, but supposedly <laughs> it's like shredded beef with onions and. So we're gonna go in here. We did oh we did get different types of tacos too, guys. Mm. This is these come. She said these come crispy, aka uh, like deep fried, and then the other ones came traditional with like the corn mm -hmm. with the cilantro and onions and everything. You want to try a taco? Yes. Yeah, get in there, right in the middle. I don't think you're... Are you no, feeding me or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
All right, guys, this is a, this is a world exclusive. You ready? We're gonna do. It. Wait, we you open the door. Now, we have to, <laughs> now, now hold on. Are you gonna do the head tilt, or are you gonna just? Or I do I gotta tilt it for you? I don't know. As long as my wife doesn't see it. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Like, what type of video? What's going on here in downtown Phoenix? Oh my god, that was awesome. Where's my wife? Yeah. <laughs> She's, she just gave us a thumbs up. You're like, yep, I don't gotta feed them. You can feed them. All right, so I'll try it out. There's the rest of your taco. I do want to try it myself. All right, guys, it looks really good. I know it's a little bright in here. Yeah, I just think it's the right there we side. Go. All right, here we go. Down the hatch. Mmm. 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 Okay. Wow. That crispy, like fried, mm. it almost gives you um, that uh, taquito uh, flauta type of flavor. The the oils in the, in the fried tortilla. I'm going to be real. As you can see, I'm still chewing. How mm -hmm. long ago did, what, did I start chewing this? That's a good thing, right? That is a good thing. You're still chewing. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, one well, second. <laughs> you also took one of the biggest bites <laughs> I have seen anybody <laughs> on all my travels this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> that is good though. <laughs> Your finger, you know, good thing. Yeah. <laughs> I was like this. I was like way at the corner. <laughs> I did taste finger now, but nah, that's another story. This is really good though. I really um, like this. Mm. I mean, like I said, this is, it's filled really well. Like imagine this. It's not Taco Bell, okay? Okay. Okay, <laughs> like, yeah, let's, let's be fair. Yeah. This is nothing, yeah, you cannot even come close to compare. This is real. Would you say this is official? Yeah, this is beyond official. This is like, it was it, my my Spanish is a, is a little shaky, right? Mm -hmm. I, I still speak it, but it was one of these places so official that I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to order in Spanish, and I'm gonna trip up in front of the alien fam. I'm like... just like, oh my god. <laughs> and then when she said hello, I was like, <laughs> right, right. I was like, thank you, baby Jesus. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna do some traditional tacos here. It is bright, huh? Yeah, it's Guys, just the it, right window. It's, it, if it, AKA, this is just Arizona. And yeah, itself. this is Arizona, okay? This is Arizona, and yeah. as well, honestly, it's no. like, oh. yeah. Oh, there, there we go. Oh, we yeah. got it. Teamwork makes the dream work. I don't know why I was holding that pizza yeah. like a like a, like a a tray for you, that long. Is there a reason? My, my wrist you, is a little sore. You were doing the uh, the Vanna, uh, what was it, the, the uh, Vanna White? Oh, yeah. Right, here we go, brother. <laughs> Thank Grab you, your tacos. This I, is the carne asada. I'll, feel, I'll feed myself this Yeah, time. yeah. Well, I don't want to, you know, <laughs> be like Luke. Uh, Luke moved in. He moved in. He's part of the fam. This, ooh, this has, be ooh, that's different. So they put pinto, uh, pinto beans. Uh, I mean, oh, sorry, uh, re refried, refried beans, beans, beans on under. the bottom. Look at that baby right, right there. That's, that's different. Ooh, I like that. Cheers, Talk about bro. thumbnail. Oh, is this a thumbnail? Yeah. Oh, why wait. not? Oh, 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 light. This light is not. Uh huh. Hold on. Uh -uh. <laughs> I, right. I do a lot of editing to oh, okay. the picture in yeah. the background. I'll make it work. Cheers, Cheers man. Oh. oh, there's kind of salad everywhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Right? There's levels to this. This is what I would have done. Mm. If they ever say, hey, Elliot Fam, Rody Footy, what do you guys want to do? As a collaboration here at El Norteño. Mm -hmm. Mexican pizza with that with that the shredded beef. Oh, with the carne yes. asada oh, and instead of the uh, the ground beef. Can you imagine? Insane. Man, I, I'm starting to think they make these tortillas in house. Yeah, guys, we're gonna need like 20 seconds here. Hold on. And I had the gastric sleeve, but mm. forget it. <laughs> I didn't eat phenomenal. breakfast for a reason. Mm. You can tell it's fresh. This is totally different than what I'm used to. And, and um, this this style, I'm thinking because Martino is north. Yeah. You know what I mean? So northern Mexico style, I guess. Would you think that? Or is this like Tex-Mex? I'm trying to think. Or it can just be where on the... Where's the... Um, 
Yeah, because there are some things in there that you typically wouldn't see like at a, in, in the L.A. taqueria, mm. right? Mexican pizza being one of them. <laughs> right. When you said, I want a Mexican pizza, I was like, <laughs> my man's been drinking a little bit. This ain't Taco, <laughs> this ain't Taco Bell. <laughs> right. But you look at the menu and it says Mexican pizza. Right. And I'm popping it up for you so you can take a good look at it. It's, oh, my God. It's awesome. And you had said that this place is top. top All right. Uh, so, yeah. It's in the top seven of in Phoenix, Arizona. In Arizona, period. Of yeah. Mexican places you have to stop at. And they also have bochata. What are you sipping on over here? Jamaica. Mm. Did I say that right? Okay. It depends on uh, what part of Mexico you're from. <laughs> hey, Some people say Jamaica. They, <laughs> say, they say it a whole bunch of different ways. Growing up, I used to call it Jamaica. Jamaica? <laughs> because it looks like Jamaica. <laughs> right, right. But it's really, uh, what's the English? Um, not passion fruit. Um, hibiscus. Hibiscus, thank mm -hmm. you. It's hibiscus juice, guys, which is absolutely amazing. When I used to have my uh, when I used to have my my sandwich shop in Providence, mm -hmm. there was a door to door sales lady who would come up with these huge jugs, and she would sell them from restaurant to restaurant. Wow. Was it official? Probably not. <laughs> right. But we never sold it. I literally bought it for myself and my staff. Oh. I wow. was like, guys, the the hibiscus uh, plug is here. So I used to buy like like three or four jugs of it and. Wow. Guys, if you have any door-to-door -door salesman and it's like food, like when I used to live in California, you don't get this in Rhode Island, obviously, but in California, you would have door-to-door -door salesmen of like Mexican cheese in tortillas. Oh, really? So like tortilla cheese? Or? Yeah, yeah. Oh, It'd be like, gosh. and then everyone would be like, hey, yeah, let me take, uh, I'll take three or four of those. And then they would just walk around throughout the whole neighborhood just selling that. How selling... are the prices though? Come on. <laughs> He's like, come on. Yeah, uh, non uh, supermarket <laughs> prices. I'll tell you that much. Great prices. What's the biggest uh, supermarket chain here? Um, Walmart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Walmart. And it's gonna be cheaper than Walmart, no, no. and it's gonna be more authentic than Walmart. Right, right. Uh, I feel like Walmart has a monopoly. I'm, I'm sorry. I just have to say. No, it. listen. Monopoly. Monopoly. <laughs> Walmart. Mm -hmm. When I got into town, right? When I was texting you guys. Mm -hmm. I think your guys' Walmarts here are bigger because mm. you have super Walmarts and we yeah. have those or super centered, whatever they're called. Mm -hmm. We have those too, but here it just felt bigger. When mm. I walked in, I was like, you can barely see the wall that way and I can barely see the wall this way. Mm. You guys have like X, uh, like XL. But y'all have like um, in like in like downtown, you would have it in the building and all of that. Like it's not separate, right? Um, you're some, from some of them. from Rhode Island. Rhode Island, right? So the size of this parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny during my travels too. Um, every because you can drive through the whole state of Rhode Island mm -hmm. in like less than an hour. Stop it. So I every, never knew that. Yeah. So every single, I usually stop every hour to like either get gas, stretch, use the bathroom. I go, oh, I just drove through Rhode Island again. <laughs> and imagine it takes me like hours to get through places. Phoenix right here, I will say that driving from, uh, where was I? Austin? No, 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 San Antonio. San Antonio? To okay. here, there is nothing. They say that's the most boring drive in the world is to drive through Texas. To do the western part of Texas. The they western part the of Texas is nothing. And because of where I was, Google was taking me the back roads. So not even the interstate where there's like a gas station, McDonald's. All so they stuff. set you up for the hills have eyes. <laughs> <laughs> there was a I'm couple. No, listen, all the gas stations. And this, this was the first time I ever had to do this. Gas station was closed, right? Nobody inside. Okay. But the lights were on at the pumps. I've never pumped gas with the, the retail part of it closed. And try to do that in a small town where there's no lights around you, just the lights from the from the gas station. Oh my god! With like two creepy vans over here, a broke down house over here. That was the fastest, and you have to get gas too because there's not another one for another hundred miles. Jeez! So you're constantly That's talk about nuts. anxiety. That Talk about anxiety. Nuts. You are literally, I have to get gas here or we're going to break down in the middle of some town that, uh, where the top of your phone says no service. Oh, but no. thank God that Google still like, they, they like save your route. Right. Oh, okay. So, so Google, you can still I get there. That. Yeah. Yeah. I so, haven't been in that situation. Uh, <laughs> so you, you've been, been traveling all it's, over 
it's it's a little dicey. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. There's some parts where I'm like, oh man, I better get gas here, even if it's just like ten bucks worth of gas, because the farthest I went was like almost 150 miles without a gas station, mm. and when you have no service on your phone with the gps you don't mess with it because okay. if you turn it off or try to do something it'll say no connection and you lost you lost your way home so you have to just pray right wow. you do a lot of praying on an open road when there's nothing around uh so that, that's a little travel tip for you guys don't mess with your gps comment uh, comment down below have you ever traveled right and been in a situation similar to the man here right yeah here. the hills that was a perfect exact yeah no you're right i mean i i don't know what i would do and there's been some like really dicey sit like i almost got stabbed at a at a flying j do you guys have flying j's here no no i'm glad we don't <laughs> he's like i'm out video <laughs> no I'm no stabbed. so flying no. j is like a, a brand of like circle k's They're okay like, okay but they're made for like truckers and, and like road trippers and folks. Oh, we might have one. Yeah, so I'm parked, right? And I'm meeting up with my buddy Adam for his birthday in Florida. And I'm trying to, cause if you're road tripping guys, you're gonna look like a hot mess. You're gonna have like one sock off, one sock <laughs> on. You're just gonna be horrible. So I park at a, uh, at a Flying J and I'm just, you get used to just changing in front of people. And there was a guy two cars over. So where this white truck is. Okay, right here. And he's one it's 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 in the middle of the day, it's hot. He's got the window closed and the door closed. I know he's dying in there. Right. He opens the door and he's just talking to himself. And then I never do this. And this is why I never do this. Never make eye contact, guys. I made eye contact with this individual and then I went like this. I went shouldn't have done that oh, you just so then now his voice gets louder and it's directed in my direction and he, this is what he says he goes you gonna respect me today i'm gonna <laughs> stab you wow straight like that straight like that and i didn't look at him again because i didn't want to double down on it so i literally got in my car boxers one boot on like just looking like a hot mess and i drove like that for like almost 100 miles before i stopped yeah i don't yeah think I stopped so that. if you're solo traveling this is why camilla needs to be on the road with us because uh you know it's always great to have another pair of eyes but you're right um just at flying jays i've had nothing but uh, i'm never gonna get sponsored by them sadly but uh, <laughs> uh, uh will, will, yeah. will you take it yeah. that let's be real will yeah. you take it <laughs> it depends it depends if they get me like a bulletproof vest and uh, they make they they pay for all my medical bills in case something happens <laughs> right. i will gladly take a flying jay sponsorship so yeah so that, that's one of that's a i have a bunch of stories but we'll, we'll share them as the days go by yeah with us. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> all right again this awesome man here roadie foodie is the foodie magician the foodie connoisseur yeah oh i like those words yeah, yeah. i like using big words yeah but I, anyway. don't even, I, don't even, I don't even know how to spell any of those words so. <laughs> down below yeah. i will not only put his channel in the description but i will literally pin a comment hmm. to his channel so you can check oh, him out that's cool. Thank please you. let him know that the elliot family seven sent you you will not be disappointed the yeah. great personality he's a great Thanks, guy Thanks. appreciate it and we're also if anybody doesn't know we're actually filming uh something for my channel uh, we're going to oh, be, yeah. uh, this is a world exclusive for my heart, my soul, my stomach. So I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. Navajo tacos. Oh yeah. Uh, Elliot fam of seven have been very gracious. They're opening up my, their home to me. And I always find that to be very, um, very sacred. So I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, it's a very warm thing. And I, and I, and I, and I love that about you guys. Uh, so we're going to be, um, uh, eating uh, some Navajo tacos. Yeah, and so I'm really we're looking excited. forward to that video. Yeah, so, and you know, we have had other people try the Navajo yeah. tacos. So let's see his reaction. Can you imagine though, for a second where I go, nah, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> if no, he I'm does not, you comment down below. No, let I'm me just know. I won't let do me that. Tell me what you think he's going to do. And I, everybody's going to say, go I, crazy. I, I made some guacamole. Some, uh, sometimes my, my guac comes out really amazing. Sometimes okay. Mm -hmm. And I had a friend taste it one time and she literally spit it out. 
but it was oh. real. She has that condition where cilantro tastes like soap. Oh no! And I was like, man, I'm so sorry. And I'm you gotta so have cilantro. Yeah, I mean, you gotta. That's have just cilantro. like cumin. I, I mean, it, ask me if she's still my friend. <laughs> okay. We'll talk about that in another video. <laughs> you can't be friends with someone that doesn't like cilantro. <laughs> well, anyway, that's just. That's just uh, the universe this, saying, nah. This is a sample, no, okay, season, of, of how, how this amazing guy is. He will yeah. crack you up. You all stay blessed yeah. and highly favored. Peace.